agency media lists down movies that revolves on stories about barbers or half plots in barber shops. Number one, barber shop. What's up, homie black folks? Uh, 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 uh. Who wants some gangster grub? That who's hopping on fleek last time. Did she just say fleek? There's a whole dictionary full of words. There's a library down the street. You won't see fleek in there nowhere. This trilogy film focuses on the life of a barber in South Side of Chicago and how he tries to save the dying business of his deceased father. Fun fact, the budget for the creation of this film is a whooping $12 million. Oh, no. Hey, shoot out there. I don't want to tie a virgin. Get your old ass down, man. I ain't getting down there. It take me too long to get back up. The cast also spent a month training at a barber college to prepare for their roles. Number two, the cobbler. Barbers are best friends of cobblers. Hello. Can I help you? Uh, what time do you close? Six. It's on the door. Okay. This film will show you how a barbershop becomes a pivotal plot for interconnecting stories within a city. Number three, Sweeney Todd. No Barker. Sweeney Todd now. And he will have his revenge. Where's my wife? She's gone. This fictional film focuses on a barber murderer featuring actor Johnny Depp. You, sir. Two, sir. Welcome to the grave. I will have vengeance. Did you know that in some of the scenes where Sweeney opens his razor very quickly, it was actually a mechanical razor? There is a button Johnny Depp would press to have the razor open, which he hides with his finger. Depp personally requested the prop department to design this razor for him, as he had difficulty handling the real razors. Number 4. The Stylist You not in a hurry? Nope. One more client. Oh, late night. Yep, if she shows. Do you mind finishing up in the back? I'm running late already. I got it. This chilling short film portrays a psychopathic hairstylist who collects scalps and wears them. The lead character named Claire is a lonely hairstylist with an unnerving desire to escape her disappointing reality. When her final client of the evening arrives with a request to look perfect, Claire has plans of her own. I need to look perfect. This film is definitely not for the faint-hearted. Number 5. The Barber Do I know you? Eugene Van Winger? The Barber? That's not your real name though, is it, Mr. Fisser? Your mistake. How about a thriller film? <laughs> a son tries to unravel his father's secret obsession. Check out the intense scenes where the lead gets shaved. Number 6. Who's the Man? Another Dr. Dre and Ed Lover masterpiece. Yo, man, what did you do to my head? No, you gotta hold your head at the angle, brother. Women gonna think you a big Wesley Snipes. Go, like, Wesley. Go, oh. Wesley. Of course, we have here a classic. This film is about Ed Lover and Dr. Dre who weren't really good at anything. The duo tried to be cops but found out to be no good at public service so they end up as hairdressers. That's a terror snap. Being a police officer is about one thing. Who knows what that is? Harassing black people. <laughs> Unfortunately, they aren't good as hairdressers either. Number 7. You don't mess with the Zohan. Zohan, now! Are you willing to do anything to pursue your dreams? This film tells the story of an Israeli counter-terrorist who fakes his death to pursue his love for hairstyling. I wanted to leave the army. What will you do? I want to cut and style hair. <laughs> Number 8. Mansum can't let the moustache break you. You've got to wear the moustache. This is just how a human male looks. I can get rid of this beard in a second with a, uh, a razor, easily. Want something educational? This documentary focuses on landscaping. 
natural sexuality and grooming products. You think mustaches are good on fellas? I kind of like it. It fits you. I'm going to embrace my inner porn star. Society has been very rigid about the role of men. Those rules have been lifted. I think you try to look good to meet a woman, or you try to look good so the woman doesn't run away. It tries to answer the question, what does it really take to be a man? Number 9. The Untouchables There is violence in Chicago, of course, but not by me and not by anybody I employ. And I'll tell you why, because it's not good business. Have you ever felt the rush to get back at rude rich people? This film contains a scene where a man gets assaulted by reporters while getting a shave. Some people say, reform is here, say, put that man in jail. What does he think he is doing? Uh, what I hope I'm doing, and here's where your English paper's got a point, is I'm responding to the will of the people. <laughs> <laughs> this involves a story about gangs. Number 10, Edward Scissorhands. Ever wondered how life would be if scissors were your hands? Hello? Why are you hiding back there? You don't have to hide from me. I'm as harmless as cherry pump. Those are your hands? This fictional film shows how a human-like character, Edward, tries to live his life with scissors as hands. Kim, this is Edward who's gonna live with us. Well, this must be quite a change for you, right, Ed? Those things are cool. In this film, Edward cuts hair of his neighbors, grass, and even eyes. 